What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Film study for rookies today, man. We're going to break down CJ Stroud. We're going to take a look at all the Texans scoring drives. And what you're going to see from CJ is his willingness and ability to stand on the pocket and deliver such a powerful, accurate throw. I mean, the ball placement when he's about to get hit is just crazy. There's not a lot of quarterbacks that can do that, man. There's not a lot of quarterbacks that can do that. Let's jump into the film. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We're going to go over all four scoring drives. Let's get it. All right, guys. Now we're in the film room. The first play you're going to look at, you're going to see Schultz go in motion. We got CJ under center. Now we're going to see a lot of this single back play action. Right here, he looks towards the middle field safety, draws him to the right, and then hits Nico on the post route. Man, the Texans make this offense look so easy. Let's run this play back real quick. So the first thing we're going to look at is they run the play action. Does any of the defense bite? You definitely get that second level to bite, right? Bang, bang, they come up. Here's the thing. We got Nico on the post route. CJ has to take this middle safety and distract him away from the post. So what does CJ do? You're going to see CJ drift to the right, as you're going to see, right? We're going to let the play go. We're going to pause it right about here. Look at the safety start to go this way with CJ, right? Looks to potentially hit Schultz, and then bam. Once Nico sees the middle safety right here go this way, Nico hits that post. Bada bing, bada boom. Great play. Big throw right there, man. Whew, those two, that connection is crazy. Let's check out the next one. All right, guys, as we jump to play number two, once again, play action under center, single back. First and second read aren't open, so what's he do? He hits Burt as his third read. Let's run this back and look at the progression of his read. So his first read is going to be Nico over here, outside receiver, right? So we're going to pause it at the top of his drop, take a look, run play action. Right here, he wants to go to Nico. Bam, that's going to be picked up. DB's playing pretty good coverage. On top of that, you got the safety right here. His next read was going to be Schultz on the wheel route. Take a look right here. We're going to have Schultz. He's going to wheel out. Now, ideally, the Texans were hoping for this defender right here to either go with Schultz and then bam, hit Nico over the top, or vice versa, have this defender go with Nico, then bam, hit Schultz underneath, right? But as you're going to see, this defender is actually going to pick up Schultz. Take a look right here. We're going to let the play go. We're going to pause it right here. Schultz is picked up by this defender right there, so his next read is going to be the shallow cross, Burt underneath. Great stuff by CJ here, man. Whew, good stuff. Let's check out the next one. All right, guys, now we're going to jump to play number three. We saw the shell across the post, and right here, a little RPO bubble screen. Woo, woo, woo. And, man, Nico is just a beast. Let's run this playback because there's a couple things to watch. The first one we're going to watch is the RPO right here. Do we get any of these second guys to buy right here? That way they don't read the pass. So we're going to let the play go. We're going to pause it right here. Bam. You hold this defender right here. That means Nico has to make one guy miss. So now we have Hutch right here blocking. Instead of John John blocking, he's a smaller guy, he's actually going to sell vertical, right? So he's going to run down here, hoping this defender is going to follow him. Take a look what happens right here. We're going to watch Nico first. Can he make the defender miss? Bang. Made that defender miss. Hutch, great block right here. And look at John John take his guy all the way down here. Can Nico make this guy miss? Take a look what happens next. Bada bing, bada boom. Woo, woo, woo. That teamwork, man. That teamwork, man. Big play right there. Let's keep this thing going. All right, guys. So we've seen the bubble screen. We've seen the post route. We've seen the shallow cross. What do they do right here? His first read's going to be Nico. That's not picked up. And then, bam, he's going to find Beck in the back of the end zone. Let's break this play down. So as we break this play down, there's a few things to look at right here. The first one is look at the DB's hips. He's giving Nico the outside if he wants to do that. But if he wants to go to the inside, he's letting him know that he's going to be right there on him. So we're going to let the play develop. We're going to pause it right here. All right. Nico does a great job getting inside release, but look at this defender right there. He's waiting on that. So what do the Texans do? They try and run a match concept underneath. So you got Nico going right here. You got John John going across. Ideally, try and create separation. But that's going to be hard with the extra defender in the middle, right? So now let's look to the right side of the field. What do we have right here? Take a look. You got Beck, who's going to go on an angle route, right? So take a look right here. Angle route, bang, bang. Then you got the running back who's going to swing out. CJ's going to read this defender right here. So take a look what happens. We're going to let the play go. We're going to pause it right about here. As of right now, CJ hasn't decided that he's going to Beck, right? Still looking at the mesh concept. We've got the running back coming out of the backfield. Now this Colts player thinks for sure that CJ's going to that. So watch what happens next. Take a look. Bam. He jumps on the running back, and CJ's going to hit Beck in the back of the end zone. Whew. What a play. Great play call. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play right here, the Texans try and get tricky. They're going to run a fleet flicker. Now, right here, nothing's going to be open. CJ's going to recognize that and look at this man go. He's going to take off from the 35-yard line and run it down to the 40-yard line. Take a look at this one more time. 
So they run the flea flicker, right? Bang, bang. Is anything open? Not really, because as you're going to see, man, the Colts really don't bite. Take a look. Even when the running back gets the ball, the linebackers aren't trying to shoot the gaps, right? They're not biting at all. Look how far back the safeties are. So really, they're like, all right, if you want to run, run. We're not going to get beat deep. So watch what happens next. They run the flea flicker, bang, bang. As you're going to see, nothing's open, right? That's picked up. That's picked up. That's picked up right there. So CJ's like, all right, bet. I'm going to take it and run 40 to the 45 to the 50 to the 45 to the 40-yard line. Big play. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, right here, CJ's going to hit Dalton Schultz right here. Bang, bang. Now, this is interesting because if CJ lets this play develop, potentially had the corner route open against the cover two. Take a look right here. So we're going to stop it right about here. As you're going to see, CJ's going to hit Schultz right there. He doesn't even take the chance. Now, what did I mean potentially had the corner route open? We'll take a look right here. Colts look to be in a cover two, potentially two high safeties. So he's got this half. He's got this half. Now, this DB has the flat. Does he pick up Schultz or does he pick up this receiver right here? As you're going to see, he's definitely drifting this way. As you're going to see, CJ sees the DB going this way. So he's like, all right, bet. My mind's made up. Hit Schultz. Let Schultz get some yards after the catch. And that's exactly what happens. Good job for CJ. Not trying to get that big play. Good stuff right there. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. On this play right here, it's third down. Texans need a first down. What does CJ do? Makes a perfect throw to Schultz on top of that. Take a look at everything else that happened on this play. You got this receiver who's trying to get outside release, right? Colts cover two. So they've got help on the inside. So this receiver is basically going to take this DB and push him all the way out. Now, this is the plan from the jump because he's got the flat right here on the cover two. He's got the flat right there. He's got this deep half over here. So if you can take this DB and push him all the way out here, this out route, that's money. On top of that, watch what happens when CJ gets the ball. He looks to the left. That allows some time for Schultz to basically go boom, boom right. This linebacker isn't expecting CJ to throw it right there. Take a look what happens next. Bang, got him. Great stuff by everybody, man. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play right here, this was probably the craziest play in the game. CJ's going to drop back, doesn't see anything. He's going to roll out. He gets pressured, comes back, falling backwards, and makes a crazy throw to Nico for a first down i mean this was this was just crazy and here's the craziest part right here he's falling back take a look he's falling backwards he's gonna put that ball right here nico's right here so from here all the way to here give or take that's where cj is gonna put the ball and it doesn't sit up there forever right no chance of that getting picked almost incomplete rather than picked i mean guys this is just crazy right here you can't teach this all right, guys, this throw right here was probably my favorite from CJ, and there's a couple of reasons for this, all right? Whew, what a throw right there. What a throw. Let's break down why I like this throw so much. So the first thing to account for is why was there pressure? Well, the Colts, they're going to run a stunt underneath. So you got this defensive tackle going underneath. He's going to go over the top, and really nobody's going to pick him up. Take a look. Bam. He's going in untouched. Whew, not good. So what's the next thing to look at? The next thing to look at is Nico right here. Let's rewind this real quick. Take a look right here. So Nico, as you guys know, is going to end up right here. Now that's going to be tough because this defender is playing Nico pretty good. You get the middle field safety right there waiting on it. So how does Nico beat this? Watch what he does right here. He cuts to the outside. Now look at the defender's hips on this, all right? At first he was playing Nico, then bam, starts to turn his hips in case he has to run with Nico. Now Nico's turned this defender around. Now he can create separation. When he cuts, there's no way he's keeping up with Nico, right? The next person to look at is the middle field safety. How does Nico affect him? Well, take a look what happens. As the play develops, take a look. Bam. Middle field safety. He starts to run with Nico this way too. So now Nico's turned around. Both defenders right there. What does Nico do? Bam. Cuts that thing in the middle. Whew. Great stuff right there, man. Great stuff. What a play. Let's jump to the last play of the video. That is a touchdown for the Texans, man. They are in the playoffs. We got playoff content coming on the Rookie Channel, man. Congrats to all of Texans Nation, man. I can't wait for next week. I'll catch you guys then. Take it easy.